Today was supposed to mark the dawn of a new chapter in my life, the moment I'd finally secured the job of my dreams at Pittsburgh's premier tech company. A glimmer of hope had just begun to pierce through the darkness of my previous struggles, but now the situation had taken a nightmarish turn and an overwhelming sense of dread hung heavily in the air. The moment I realized everything had descended into chaos was when I found myself in a diner, shattered windows all around, a lifeless woman beside me and others falling to the ground, six or seven in total. A car erupted into flames just outside. Then my own car caught fire. It felt like, like a war zone. Some of those things made it inside the diner and started coming after us. Some good old boy burst in, chasing them down. That mean son of a bitch had some kind of high-powered gun, like an M16 or something. He began shooting, bullets tearing up the place. I witnessed one of those things taking 30 hits and still persisting. It seemed invulnerable until a shot to the head finally brought it down. The only way to stop him, you gotta shoot him in the head. I had to get out of there, dodging through alleys and avoiding these freaks. I spotted a car with its engine running, presumably abandoned in haste by its owner. Without hesitation, I jumped in and drove, weaving in and out of the city streets trying to distance myself from the horror unfolding it in Pittsburgh. Hours seemed to pass, and as the sun began its descent, I found myself on a country road, with forests on one side and open fields on the other. Low on gas and mentally exhausted, I spotted a seemingly abandoned farmhouse up ahead, thinking it might offer some temporary safety and a chance to collect my thoughts, I drove up to the farmhouse, completely unaware that it would soon become a pivotal point in my battle for survival. And so, as the night drew close, my ordeal was only just beginning and the farmhouse would be my fortress in the night, the longest of my life. Look, I don't know what's going on, but I sure as hell know it ain't no prison break. It ain't no kind of chemical that I've never heard of, capable of making a dead man walk. This is something nobody has ever heard of and nobody has ever seen before. This is hell on earth. This is pure hell on earth. Before you dig your way out, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more spine-tingling tales. And if you're still craving a dose of the dreadful, why not check out another ghastly episode from Cemetery Tales?